So here we are, Tom, back on home soil again. New weight class for you, and you're now training back here in the UK. Tell us about the uh, the thought process that has gone behind the changes that you've made to your training over the last 12 months or so. Um, I just follow my passion. You know, I was very passionate about coming back home. I was planning on coming back home, in, you know, eventually. I decided to do it now. Um, so, yeah, I'm back home. I'm really enjoying my training. Going up to middleweight, I just felt like it was a natural thing for me. Um, you know, I felt like I'm I'm always in the gym training at, you know, around like 195, 200 pounds, 205, something like that. But when I was cutting down to water weight, I was getting back in there at like 185. And it's it's a it's a weight I'm not used to training at. So I thought it'd be a more natural weight for me. How much how much of a, a weight off your mind, if you like, or puns intended, is it to know that you're going to be weighing in at 185 and you're not having to sort of boil yourself down to 170 now? Oh, it's a, it's a big relief, you know. Um, I don't have the stress of you know potentially not making weight and I feel great so you know I'm getting a lot more sleep the week of the fight as well because you know when you're cutting weight it's, it's very hard to sleep when you're dehydrated and, and you're starving so I, I feel great. You've been hyped quite quite extensively by the likes of me and, and, and uh, my colleagues in the media as being one of the bigger prospects to come out of the UK. How, how much has that weighed on you over over recent months and with the last fight not going your way, how much do you think that takes a little bit of the pressure off you going into this one? Oh, definitely there's a lot of pressure off. Um, I think I felt the most pressure last time, I thought, you know, coming off the two big wins, and um, there's a lot of pressure on me to fight Nakamura, who's an experienced fighter. Yeah. You know, I was still fairly inexperienced, and, you know, those last two fights, I've learned a lot from it, and, you know, gained valuable experience. How much different are you gonna look as a fighter when you step in there on Saturday night? at a new weight class, are we going to see new wrinkles to your game? Are you now going to be able to perform different tactics within the octagon that perhaps you found tricky to do as a 170 pound fighter? Definitely, I have so much more energy levels, you know, so looking to fight at a faster pace. Um, definitely feel at, the, at this weight class, I'm going to have a huge cardio advantage over a, a lot of fighters. Your opponent, Bang Bozi, he, he have a look down his record, it's, uh, it's kind of all or nothing, isn't it? It's first round, first round KOs, or, or he ends up getting beat himself. But he looks a very dangerous opponent, very explosive opponent. How do you assess his skill set, and how do you think you're going to break him down on fight night? Yeah, he's a he's a dangerous opponent, big hitter. Um, you know, kicks hard, punches hard. Um, not as experienced as me. You know, not only in MMA, but I have a lot of experience in, in submission grappling. Um, so it's it's a great challenge. Uh, you know, looking forward to the fight at middleweight, but you know, I'm very confident. I have no pressure. You know, I'm looking in there, looking to get in there and, and attack.